Okay, so today I'm going to take this simple 3D print that I did. It's a uh, cell phone sound booster slash holder. Pretty decent, not bad. Great design though. I love the way it looks. And we're going to take it from something that, if you turn the light off, will actually glow in the dark. As of right now, it does not glow. It's just simple ABS white plastic. Whoa, where'd it go? <laughs> just kidding. Moved it over here. So now, take it over here, and we're going to use this Krylon Glows Glow in the Dark spray. Uh, I came across this, actually, I believe someone gave this to me. I've had it for a while sitting around. I use it for like night light switches and our overhead lamps. So when you turn the light off, you know, it has this nice little glow to it. So we're going to put that on there and then see how it looks. <clears throat> pause whenever you want to. Oh, just so you guys know, let me back up one. If you don't want to zoom here, be careful. This can is extremely flammable. The vapors may cause flash fires, contents under pressure, vapor, vapor harmful. Be careful. But then they put this. Nice little face on there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's get our zoom right first. And we'll just give it some nice coats. It's going to be a bit hard to see on something that looks like this. But the cool part about it is it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be all splotchy and spots on it. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, definitely make sure to do this in a well ventilated area. The vapors on this are pretty strong. And remember, no open flames. Let's be smart. Alright, so I think that'll do for top coat. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna get one more good one. One more than Mary, it can't hurt. It's gonna look cool though, because this piece of wood is going to be glowing all around in the center. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and just put that. Okay, so a few minutes have passed by and I'll just go ahead and lay it down on the stands that are built on there. So just trying to get this inside spot. And we'll let it dry again and we'll test it. Alright, that should do it. You don't need to put a few light coats. And each coat only takes about a minute to dry, which is pretty cool, before you can apply another one. And then 15 minutes total cure time. Not bad. So, now we'll just go ahead and let it dry for a second, and I'll put it up to the light and show you what I'm talking about. Alright, a few minutes have passed by. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So it's still a bit sticky. But we'll put it up to this light here. So I can get a good amount of that light all around. If I sat here for probably an hour, this thing would probably glow like a star in the night. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's pretty good. I can almost see it glowing now. Okay, so I'll place it here. I'm gonna come over here and turn the lights off. And oh yeah, look at that glow. Not bad, huh? 